Let's have a conversation. Hey y'all, it's me, Chris, and I am in Florida. Yes, I am in Florida. That is not what this video is about, but I'm in Florida. That's why it looks like a hotel room again. I'm in a hotel room! Spinning! Ah! I'll make a video about that later in another video um, about kind of what I did in Florida and all that and the adventures that are happening in Panama City. However, this video is not about that. This is about Lomo. So I know what you're thinking. Chris, what's Lomo? Lomo sounds a lot like FOMO, but with an L. And you already made a video about Lomo that you have linked in the description. Well, you long sleeve shirt wearing person that's amazing and May I say really handsome? Yes, that is it. It's Lomo is the love of missing out. And yeah, it's kind of like the exact opposite of FOMO. And I want to talk about it. So yes, I did make a video talking about FOMO and fear of missing out. And I have that. And it was really bad about two years ago. I was, I was really trying to insert myself in things. And I've done so, like I, I kind of made like a lifestyle change of like, you know, experiences, experiences are more in trying to live life to where like, not more materialistic, but more of experience and adventures and trips and stuff. And it's still important factor in me and it's important core value of me is to live with experience and like go out on adventures and do stuff. However, Something you might not know about me is even though I could turn it on and be like an extrovert in front of like friends or friends of friends and coworkers and family and all that stuff, I'm an introvert at heart. Like it is exhausting to be on 24-7, 365 and so I'm not, I can, I can't live that health lifestyle and I found that over the past actually 29 years that it's exhausting to be on 24 7 365 so i do need those breaks and so what that means is i do experience fomo fear of missing out and i try to have those experiences and stuff however i am embracing lomo a little bit more in my life and i'm liking it um i am beginning to say no a lot more I've always been the person who like, you know, if I made a commitment to someone, I'm going regardless of if I feel good or not, or if I feel up for it or not, which is really hypocritical of me because I would always tell my, you know, um, friends, partners, whatever to be like, hey, like I'd rather you not go than have, than force yourself to go out and have a lousy time and I would not tell myself that, which is nothing new for me. <laughs> um, however, I'm embracing it more. Like I am liking my nights in. I, I'm okay with, you know, staying in and I am embracing the me time a little bit more and to the point where like, you know, yes, I see people going out and like, you know, do you boo boo, but that's not me. I'm not that you know, super, super socialite, like, I like what I like, and if that's not what you're doing, then, yeah, I'll try new experience and stuff, but also, like, if I'm not up for a new experience, like, I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna listen to an audio book, and I'm gonna listen to a podcast, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, like, embrace me, and write, or, like, do whatever I need to do to stay sane, so when the next time I do go out, and enjoy myself with y'all or with my, this group of friends um i enjoy myself and i don't feel like it's taxing oh, i have an itch in my ear oh my god it is annoying i've realized that i have a lot of emotional work i have to work on um which i think is true for 99 oh, i guess i would say it's true for everyone honestly um especially those who say they don't need it <laughs> but anyways um different topic uh different video um but yeah i just I, I i need to focus on my work that i'm doing for myself and embrace lomo and also 
be okay with like people going like, hey, like, you know, you suck or, you know, cause you're true, you're true people, your true tribe, friends, good, good source of people that you want to hang around with will understand. Um, and I know that like, it is frustrating when like someone quits on you and like, um, not quits, but more like cancels on you every single time. Like, I'm not saying like, I'm going to do that and I'm not saying that I have been embracing that. I get that. That's annoying. Like I get a little upset. Like, you know, if you cancel every time, then I'm going to stop inviting you. However, um, canceling every once in a while because you don't feel good is okay. And I need to tell myself that because I don't tell myself that. I always, uh, spit the advice and never take it. Do you boo boo? And I don't do me boo boo. Self-realization, woo for the win. So, yeah, a little bit deep. I listened to a podcast, surprise, surprise. Chris listened to another podcast. It's, um, I believe it's called, like, I'll link it down below, but it's Wild Ideas Worth Living. Um, it's an REI-sponsored podcast, but it's really, really good. And the person who was the guest star that was on there, I forgot her name, again, I'll put it down in the description below, um, was talking about Lomo and how I think she created it or embraced it super duper more. And she was talking about like Lomo and minimalism and how it's like helping her mental health and all that stuff and kind of looking into that stuff. So yeah, I hope this video is pretty informative, entertaining. Um, I will talk about, oh my God, that is like all my dirty, not dirty, that's clean. It's just everywhere. I have stuff working on. Speaking of baggage, shit. Anyways, um, <laughs> hope you enjoy this video. I will explain Florida. And hope y'all are doing well. The video's all over the place, but I hope you like the topic. Chris out. I never say that. Hope you're having an amazing day. And if you're not, that's okay. Like, you know, do emotional work. Oh my God. Can I just say goodbye? Bye, bye y'all. Bye. Psh. Is that what everyone does? Like, wait, you have to like make it dark, right? Psh, psh, psh. Yeah.